the school came out of him. So you need passion for reading. Are you following me? You need to love reading. You need to be committed to it. You need to separate time every day. It could be when you are going to office that you are hearing it or reading it if you're not the one driving. You just have to. Learn. When you are sleeping every night, ask yourself, what have I learned today? If there is nothing, don't sleep. Get up from that bed. Go after one book in your house. Sit down and get something inside. I'm serious. I'm very serious. This is very important. That's how to grow. You want to... Now, we, the title of my message is Growing a Successful Business in a what? In a difficult economy. And you don't want to read? You say, ah, when I travel out of the country, I don't need reading for that. Ladies and gentlemen, the economy is difficult everywhere now. Hello? It's just difficult in some places more than some places. Though. It's difficult everywhere now. We read last week that pickpocket is in Paris now. Pickpocket. They did pickpocket. In fact, they said their own is technological pickpocket. You, they will just pass beside you. You will not know that. So it's an advanced one. So we have a, we have a couple in this church. They live in Highland. That's I-A-I-R-E, Highland, in the, in the, in the uh, 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 close to the United Kingdom. They say, Pastor, they, they still fall here now. Yes, they, they still fall now in Europe. You want to take selfie, you say, please, help me. They take it and run home. So everywhere is born you. You need to learn. If that business is going to grow bigger than your pocket, then you have to grow in knowledge. You have to invest. Sometimes make sure you don't miss service like this. If you're outside, you connect online. You have to make sure that on daily basis, you are picking things up that is adding to your value, that is making you grow. Let me tell you what knowledge does. It will, the quality of your understanding determines the quality of your decisions. And it is the quality of your decisions that determines the quality of your life. The choices you are making, the decisions you are making. It is understanding. If you, if you bring a failure beside a success, what is the difference? Understanding. Very simple. There is something he understands that he doesn't understand. Although they are from the same village, although they were born from the same womb, but there are things... Somebody understand and somebody don't understand. So your passion to know more must increase. Job said, I have esteemed the word of your mouth more than my necessary food. I think that's Job 23 verse, uh, verse 12. I've esteemed your word, the word that comes from your mouth, more than the food that I am eating. Hello? Hello? So while you are buying burger, buying all those things, buy book. Buy what? Books. Invest in buying books. Buy quality books that, look, we just read to you people who you can know, who you know how they change their lives. No, Reverend Sam Adeyemi was reading one book per week in his days of development, I mean, in those early days. He's still developing. One book per week. One, so 52 books per year. And he read that consistently. Now the world can listen to him. Huh? Because he has so much to say. You will never be able to get the attention of the world, the globe around you, until you become a reader. In and let me tell you, you don't have an excuse. If you can't read, like I've told you, there are audio books. Be buying the audio ones. Me too, sometimes I prefer the audio ones. Because it's faster sometimes. And put it in your ear. And get, get it, get it, get it. You, want, you feel in the area of business, you want to grow, buy books on how to build a business. In the area of relationship and marriage, you want to grow, buy books on that. The good thing is that there are books for everything. Amen. I put my books on Amazon some years ago, and I discovered that every day I'm selling. But I don't sell every day in Nigeria. So some people are reading more than some people. Hello? That's, so you can't blame God for me. You can't say, why do you make African poor? He didn't make African poor. African made themselves poor. 
Like I started this message, and I'm going to round off shortly. I say whenever people fail exams, they will say they, they fail me. Why fail me? Jam fail me. I said, but when they, when they pass, they will say I pass. Do you see the difference? He got parallel F9. He said they gave me parallel F9. They gave me. Nobody gave you parallel F9. It is parallel F9 you had. And they printed it out for you. But if he has parallel A1, you say I had parallel A1. Do you see the difference? And because he's not seeing it that way, he does not even know that it is he is the maker of his own destiny. I started from there when we started this message. You are the maker of your destiny. Do you want anything to change around you? You are the number one to change. When you change, things change. Amen. With all respect to my earthly father, my earthly father is a wonderful man who invested so much in us, who believes so much in education. My father believes so much in education that if you are passing an exam, even if you are not doing your domestic work well at home, my, my father will waive it for you. That's my kind of father. My mother will not waive it, but my father will waive it. Once you are doing good in school, many things will wait for you at home. I saw that my father had diabetics at a very tender age. By 40, my father was already diabetic. And by 55, he was gone. So, how do I break the course of, generation, of diabetics in my own life? I have to know what he did that brought it and stay away from the thing. I don't need to go to any mountain to break any course. So. The course is automatically broken. Once I'm not part of the lifestyle, so I don't buy sugar. Hello? As a single man, I don't buy sugar. I got married, I don't buy sugar. And I saw that I'll be 52 in October. There's no trace of diabetics in my life. Did you see the difference? The difference between you and the person that things are working for is that there are things he's doing that you are not doing. Or there are things he's not doing that you are doing. Your actions and inactions are not the same. And it is information that initiates our actions and our inactions. Stand up on your feet. It is information, knowledge. Lift up your two hands. I'd like you to pray for one minute. Hunger for knowledge. Lord, increase my appetite for knowledge. Father, increase it. Pray this prayer in 60 seconds fervently. I want to grow in knowledge. So, Lord, increase my appetite for knowledge. Increase my appetite for knowledge, for revelation. Pray this prayer. You are not praying this prayer like you need it. Pray it. This is one liberating prayer. He said, you will know the truth. The truth will make you free. You want to be made free financially, made free otherwise. Say, Lord, I receive grace to desire knowledge. Increase my appetite for knowledge. You are not praying this prayer. I want to become a voracious reader, a voracious reader. Not just a casual reader. Who reads whenever it's convenient? Who reads whenever? No, I want to become a voracious, addicted reader. He said, hi, Daniel understood by books. That's what put Daniel in front of others. He understood by books. The sons of Ishaka, they had more understanding of times and seasons. Everybody that is ahead, they have more understanding. So, Lord, increase my appetite for understanding, for knowledge, for wisdom. Pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. I want to start from today. I'm starting now, not tomorrow. Now. Let this appetite start working for me now. Let it start working now. In Jesus' precious name we pray. One Awusa rich man who didn't go to school, but he's rich. And he's so accurate in decision making in business. He didn't go to school, he can't speak English. So people were wondering, ah, maybe they said we should go and read. This one is not reading. How did he get this information? You know what he said? He said he doesn't miss Musk. 
It doesn't mean what? He said the Friday teachings and all the morning teachings in the mosque, he doesn't miss it. They are getting this thing from somewhere. And if you listen to some teachings in the mosque too, some of them are like this. So if you think he didn't go to school, so he doesn't know anything. He said, look, me, I, I didn't get it from school. I got it somewhere. He said, I don't miss Wazi. Is it Wazi they call it? Wazi. He said, I don't miss. He said, people play with Wazi. They just want to pray and go. He said, but me, one of the things I cherish most is Wazi. He said, and I grew inside it. So, he's still better than that guy who is not learning at all. I prophesy. You are walking out of this meeting as a voracious reader. Amen. As an addicted learner. Amen. You are not saying amen at all. Amen. You are walking out of this meeting with a great appetite for information and knowledge. Amen. For revelation and understanding. Amen. I prophesy your heart will pant after the word of God. Your heart will pant after knowledge and information and revelation. Like the deer pant after the waters. Amen. You will love understanding. Yeah. Oh, you will love understanding. Yeah. You will fall in love with knowledge. Yeah. As you begin to grow in knowledge, you will grow in all areas of your life. Yeah. You keep getting better every day. Yeah. Your result will keep getting better. Yeah. Your personal life will keep getting better. Yeah. Your email is not loud at all. Yeah. I prophesy to someone here, within the next 90 days, we're going to do a 90 days study challenge. Within this 90 day study challenge, you will practically transform your life. From today we are starting for the next 90 days as we voraciously begin to read all that is available to read that can help us. I prophesy complete transformation. Change that will be visible to all. Promotions everywhere. Increase everywhere. Amen. Oh, you are not saying amen. amen. Stretch your two hands to heaven. All eyes closed, all legs bow. I'd like you to pray this simple prayer as I start reading. Father, show me my areas of deficiencies. Those things I don't even know I'm deficient in. Direct me in my study. To what I need, not to what I want. Because sometimes what I need conflicts what I want. What I want conflicts what I need. You know what I need. Direct me to the things I need. Direct me to the books I need. Direct me to the teachings I need. Direct me to the informations and revelations in the Bible that I need. Hold on my steps to what I need, not what I want. Because some people are only reading what they want. What I need. What I need. What I need. In my marriage, what I need. In my finance, what I need. In my business, what I need. In my, in my, in my, in my, in my ministry, what I need. Hold on my steps. From today, order my steps to the things that I need. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray. I prophesy, you will, you will go for the things you need. Amen. The Spirit of God will lead you to the things that you need. Amen. As you begin to eat and drink and, and, and take in the things that you need, I prophesy visible change. Amen. Visible transformation. Amen. That delay will come to an end. Amen. The power of knowledge will terminate delay in your life. Yeah. If success has been delayed in your life, I command it terminated today. Yeah. Speed will come over your life. Yeah. The hand of God will rest upon you. Yeah. Somebody here, this year will not end until you are there. Yeah. That word is prophetic. That word is for somebody. Somebody this year won't end until you are there. Yeah. I don't know what is there for you, but I decree and declare this year won't end until you are there. 
You reach your goal. You reach your goal. You live your dream. So shall it be. With your hands and give him glory and praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name we pray.